Hi, this is Rogue73 and today I'm going to talk about my camera which I've been using recently to film most of my videos. Um, it is the Kodak PlaySport. Um, it's a very nice little high definition camera. Basically it looks a bit like a mobile phone. Lens in the front, um, widescreen at the back, very easy buttons to use, main toggle button which can be easily used either with gloves or without gloves and then small little function keys of either photograph, camera, playback, erase, put it in the bin, um, settings and share button. Basically what the share button is that I can set it up that once I plug this into my computer it will send off all the different pictures or files or videos to either Twitter, Facebook or YouTube. Um, which is a nice little feature. It doesn't really work very well, but it's nice. Um, I don't know if you can read that there. It says waterproof to 3 meters and shockproof to 1.5 meters. Basically means then that, if it, yeah, I can go down to 3 meters and it, before water starts getting into it, and um, I can drop it from at least 1.5 meters before it shatters. Um, so it's got a toughened screen. As you can see, it's, it's pretty well made. Um, it's got two little doors on it, water seal doors. One is on this side, if I can do this with one hand, I do boop. And that's where you hold your memory card. And basically it takes a, here we go, scan disk, uh, SD card. Um, I was told it just takes the four megabytes, but I'm sure I get a bigger card, it should work also. But I got four gigabytes there, which I find quite enough. So it's got a nice seal on it. And then on the other side, pop this open. I got two little jack ports, I don't know if I can zoom in there properly or not. One's a USB, small USB port and the other one is a HDMI port. Um, the USB port is also used for charging. There is a reset button in the center and that's coming quite handy a few times because if you're toggling through functions too quickly, um, sometimes she does tend to jam. Uh, what I mean by that is freeze up so then you do have to get a peeper clip or some other type of device to poke in the reset button and reset it. Other than that, I've had no real problems with the quality. You can see the waterproof seal there. Let's go back down and push it out. Other features on this is that it does have a um, standard digital camera kind of screw in mount that you can put on a stand. That's the speaker there. It does have a piece for a hand strap, which is really handy. Um, the on off button is here in the top. Okay, it does have a directional mic, which is here, and of course then it's got the, the lens, I don't know if we can zoom in on that, but basically it says autofocus, f2.8, f equals 3.9 millimeters. Okay, now anyone's wondering what this is and what this is, these are uh, basically glow-in-the-dark stickers, which I, I love, I love these things, I'll do a review on these some other time, but basically I put these on all my items, um, which come in really handy because suddenly if you go from light to dark and you've dropped this or you're looking for it you can find it very easy or yeah yeah so that's how it is now bad thing about this it doesn't work very well in the dark there you go just turned it on so you go I'm filming a film well, hey so some of the functions okay we can go into the settings okay so we have effects we go into effects there we have normal high saturation 70s type film black and white Sipa. Okay, back to normal. This one in normal. Okay, go out of that one. Can we get out? Okay, back to action. Underwater connection. Correction. There you go. What it will also do then is, if you are filming underwater, as it is designed to do, um, it will adjust the lens so it actually focuses properly underwater because there is a distortion when you are filming underwater. Video resolution. There you go, I got it set at high definition. I do actually record my stuff in high definition, but once getting transferred onto YouTube, it doesn't always stay in high definition. Don't ask me why I have problems with this. But you do have different types of high definition, and you do have iPad compatibility. There you go. Okay, we have focus mode. Okay, and that is auto, auto or macro. I like auto, it's just easier to do it. Other features, microphone gain. Okay, so there you go, I have it not so high, but it's pretty good. Okay, done. Thank you. 
um, sound and LED. That is quite good because you don't always want to have sound. Mm. So I usually have it turned off so I can secretly record people. They just think I got a camera in my hand. It's quite good. Okay. Uh, LCD brightness. So yeah, you can actually um, do anti glare and, and actually have it higher or lower. Date and time. Share settings. There we go. This is what we would share. Okay, so as you can see, I have it already done for the Codec Gallery, for the CSV photos, and Facebook. There we go, and go back one more. Video output. Okay, I do have it at PAL, but you can also have it at NTSC, depending on part of the world you're in. I should actually have it at NTSC, but there you go. didn't realize that. Okay, and... Languages, of course. It's a different language you want to have it. Reset settings, which basically wipes all the memory and put it back to the beginning. Okay, and of course, then you can also reformat the memory card. About. Woohoo, there you go. And it gives you just about what type it is, so there you go. Film camera firmware, it's 1.3, Acro software version. Okay, there you go. All the information on it. And back to the beginning. Okay, so. There we go. As you can see, it's pretty good. You do have a zoom function. You can zoom in there in the back. And you have zoom out again. Okay. So there you go. So that's my little camera. As I said, it's waterproof. It's great for outdoors. It does do high definition. Um, it does not do very well for indoors because it does not have a built-in light or um, kind of designed for indoor night use. But as I said, it is an outdoor sports camera. And uh, this is what I use bring to my airsoft games or recording most of my videos. So, there you go. That is the Kodak PlaySport. Hope you've enjoyed my video. Please like and subscribe. And I am on Facebook now, so you can actually look me up under Airsoft and Survival. Please join and subscribe and share. Take care. Bye.